Oh, and there's Derek Bell upside down. That's not a good position to be in. Definitely not. So, no. yeah. I hope the other cars can see him. I thought he just switched the lights off, but you could see the flame underneath. It probably just uh, thing just shorted out. But that is every driver's nightmare. Look at the fuel pouring out of the car now. Inside there is a an 800, 900 centigrade, degree centigrade turbo sitting there just brewing up, ready to set fire to something. It's an absolute miracle that thing hasn't caught fire. And now they're just waltzing up as if it's uh, another one of those things that happens. And one of the big problems with the Group C car is the doors open upwards. So if you do manage to roll the car, yeah, it's not very easy to get out. That was certainly a dreadful accident for Derek Bell. And... Uh, I think that would have scared the living daylights out of any of us. Don't think for, for one sure. minute that racing drivers don't get scared. It's a necessary element of survival. You've got to remember that we race 20 times a year at those sort of speeds and we go testing probably 30 or 40 times a year in practice days. So you have to have an element of fear, otherwise you're not going to survive to tell the story. And I think one of the things as well is you, you tend to slow the speed down in your brain. So it, uh uh, you get used to the speeds very easily and you, you feel very calm in the car but then when something does happen like that you realise just how fast you were going and then suddenly it's panic stations and uh, I definitely wouldn't want to be in there where he is now oh, I don't know. that's allowed that car some breathing space it uh, looks like a Nissan who's obviously in the pits now under yellow so he's not losing anywhere near as much time that, that 84 car kept coming out of the pits, although he was God knows how many laps down, and haunting us, didn't he? Because he was on fresh tyres and fresh drivers and uh, being quite a nuisance as we were trying to carry out our 24-hour race. The accident to Derek Bell was the biggest of his career. What exactly?